Hi kids, I sure have been missing you and I wanna start out today. We're gonna to act like this is our, our Sunday school lesson. So let's sing our Bible song. I hope you have your Bibles out. This is our regular book, our Bible book, so we'll sing it. The Bible is God's special book. Open it and take a look. In it are God's words so true. He wrote them for me and you. The Bible is God's special book. Open it and take a look. Were you singing? I hope you were. If not, you sing it later and teach it to your mama and daddy. That would be awesome. So our lesson is going to come out of the Bible in it's the week of Easter and we always talk about it's not always about the Easter bunny. No, that's not what Easter is about. It is about Jesus that he died on the cross for you and me and he rose from the grave. So we're going to hear about our lesson and Hopefully, you'll, it'll be just like you're here with me, all right? So, Jesus rode on a donkey into the city of Jerusalem. That's a big word, but you can say that. The people of Jerusalem started to gather along the road. Well, some of the people, they spread their coats on the ground for the donkey to walk on. We talked about this before. That was to show that they, it was so special that Jesus and the donkey were walking by. Well, others, they cut, they cut palm branches and from a tree and they threw them down also. And many of them waved them in the air. And we will see next what... All right, so let's look at the next picture. Oh my goodness, the crowds were shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna, and waving the palm branches. Hosanna means save us. Well, the crowds followed Jesus into the city and let, just like a big parade. They were waving their branches and praising him. They were thankful for Jesus, but not everyone liked Jesus. Oh my, what's going to happen next? Do you know? Let's look. All right, so next, one night, Jesus and his friends, the disciples. Remember, we've talked about disciples. How many disciples were there? Can you remember? Tell mom and dad. I think you know they're 12. Well, they were in the garden praying, and Jesus knew the bad men were coming, and he was talking to God about it. He was troubled. Well, one of Jesus' disciples, Judas, he wasn't with Jesus at that time. He was with the bad men. Well, they gave Judas money to show them where Jesus was. They were paying him to show them so they could arrest him without the people who liked Jesus being around him. They were trying to get him isolated so they could arrest him and take him for doing nothing wrong, right? We always talk about this. Well, Judas led the men to where Jesus was praying. Do you remember where that is? The Garden of, it's a really long word, the Garden of Gethsemane. Gethsemane, say that with me. Well, the men arrested Jesus. Here they go. They arrested Jesus and led him away. And we've talked about this before. Did Jesus do anything wrong? No, he didn't, but he was arrested. All right, so here they took Jesus to a leader named Caiaphas. Caiaphas, say that. Who would decide if Jesus had done wrong and how he would be punished? Punished, oh my goodness. The bad, man, bad men made up lies about Jesus. They also told Caiaphas that Jesus claimed to be the son of God. Well, Caiaphas sent Jesus to an even more powerful judge named Pilate. What will happen now? 
So, G, um, Pilate asked Jesus about the lies the people were telling about him. Jesus stayed quiet. Pilate was not sure what to do, so he let the crowd make the decision. The crowd that was there was against Jesus, because remember, it was the ones that didn't like Jesus. And so the crowd was against Jesus. So they put a robe on they put a robe on Jesus, put a crown of thorns on his head. They were dressing him like a king to make fun of him. They did not believe Jesus really was a king. So here we see they took Jesus up a hill and they they were mean to him. They um, were... They nailed him to a cross, and it was a very, very sad day. Well, Jesus died for us to show how much he loves us. So next week, we will find out what happened to Jesus after he died. And it's a great story. So we're going to learn, in this month, we're learning Jesus is the risen king. Because that's what's going to happen in the end. Jesus is our risen king. So the memory verse for this week is really short, and I hope you can learn it very quickly. It says, he is not here, but he has risen. And that's found in our Bible in Luke 24, 6. Can you say it again with me? He is not here, but has risen. Luke 24, 6. Well, I hope you all have a really fun time at home with mamas and daddies and your family and all the nice things that um, you've got to pick up at church to do this week. And then we'll talk again next week about the rest of the story and hear about Jesus, how he rose from the grave. Love you guys. Bye-bye.